So I'm going to do a lesson on Poisson distribution. And the Poisson distribution basically says, if you know the average amount um, at which something is happening or has happened in the past, and you want to make a prediction about what's going to happen in the future, you can use Poisson. And here's how it works. It says P of X equals mu to the X times E to the negative X over X factorial. And you can see I did a little bit of work over here. And I said that mu is the mean, E is Euler's constant, and x factorial means x factorial. So here's the actual formula. I'll highlight that for you. And we're going to do um, an example. And what I did was I said, I went to this website, um, the worldfootball.net stats, and I looked at the last 118 years, and it tells me that, this is important, um, highlighting green. So this is the data I'm going to work with. My mu is 2.98. That means the number of games in the past, uh, the average number of goals scored is 2.98. And I want to find out what would what's the probability that I'm gonna that the next game is gonna have three goals. And so what I did was I just typed this in p of three equals and I did 2.98 to the third times e to the negative 3.98. Oh shoot, negative 2.98 rather. Excuse me, over three factorial. Now I'm gonna show you how to do this. Um, over here because that's kind of small, it's hard to read. So of course I'm going to use my um, my pen, and it will become even harder to read because you won't be able to read my handwriting. But that's all right. So it becomes e to the negative 2.98 over 3 factorial, which we know is really 3 times 2 times 1, which is 6. And when you do that, you get 0.224 or 22.4%. Now here's the deal. You can do that in your graphing calculator, and that's what I really want to show you. Turn it on, and we're going to go to second and bars. And you'll have normal PDF, normal CDF, all of these. And all you're going to do is go down until you get Poisson PDF. So once I get to Poisson PDF, I'm going to type it. Oh, I already have it typed in 2.98 because that's my average. I want to see what's probably that three goals are going to be scored next. And I press paste. And then enter, and you can see I get 0.224. Now that's really nifty, but check this out. If I want to know the probability of getting zero goals, I'm going to go back and I'm going to do this again. And I'm going to go to Poisson PDF. And this time, I'm going to type in zero goals. And I paste it, and it looks like I get. 0.0507. So 0 0.0507. So I'll just leave it that. And I'm also going to do probability of getting one, probability of getting two, and the probability of getting three. Well, we already know what the probability of getting three is, although I can't actually make it three for some reason. And that was about 0.224. So once again, I'm just going to do this a couple more times, and I do urge you to stay with me because I am going someplace with this. Uh, this, that. So this is one goal, and it looks like 0 0.15, 0 0.15, and I should have, I should have just had 0 0.22, but I think you guys will forgive me. And now I'm going to do, um, uh oh, I did that's the final with PDF. That's not right. I want. Once again, make sure you do the right one. I want the Poisson PDF, which is, um, oh goodness me, no. So here's a little word of caution. If you start messing about with things, sometimes it's easier just to quit and then do it all over again, which is what I had to do. So Poisson PDF, here we go. Uh, my mu is 2.98. That was the, for the past. 118 years. Um, I want to know what's probably getting two goals, and now it looks like it's 0.2255. So I'm going to round this up to 0 0.2255.23, right? And I'm going to pretend that that four doesn't exist. So it kind of looks like if I add these all up, the probability of getting between zero and three goals. would be the sum of these. 
And so let's say uh, two, four, five, and then maybe six. Let's see. So five and five is ten. That's five. Two, four, five, six. So this should be about 0.65. So the probability of getting between zero and three goals should be about 0.65. So I'm going to go back once more. And this time, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say Poisson CDF. And I'm going to put in my average, which was 2.98. And this time, I'm going to put in 3. And when I do that, I get 0.65, which is the same. If I had carried out all the decimals, it should be the same. And so the Poisson CDF, or well, PDF, is for a single event. But the Poisson CDF is cumulative, and it's for 0 to x. Um, that is a wonky looking zero. So it's zero to x. So if it was x is three, it's zero, one, two, and three. Um, there is one other thing I want to show you. What if you want to know, let's say two or three? What I would do is I do a Poisson CDF for three, and then I do Poisson CDF for well, I guess it'd be for one, because that would take out three. The Poisson CDF for three goes from zero to three. And then the Poisson CDF for one would go zero to one, which would leave me with just this. And so let's try that. It should be about 0.45. So I'm going to say. Poisson CDF, 2.98. Then I'm going to say minus Poisson CDF. Oops, I almost made that mistake again. For 1. And if everything goes correct, I get 0.449. And I thought it was going to be about 0.45. So because I'm not sure of how my rounding is, I get the right answer. So I hope that helps. Um, it is a little confusing, and you might need to do, uh, you might need to take a look at it, this video one more time. But once again, what I did was to find the value of two or three. I found zero to three, and then zero to one, and that left me with that value and that value. All right, so I hope that helps. Uh, good luck and enjoy.